how do we build the report that take into account those constraints and questions from the regulators? So we said, okay, why don't we build a framework that actually base its most important components on the basis that regulators are used to talk about? So the principles on which this report are based are simple and straightforward. The first two are used by bankers and by banking system regulators around the world. The third one is more broader. Let me get a little bit into those. The first one is similar regulations for similar functions. Very well, very well accepted. It doesn't really matter who's providing the service. If the function of the service is the same, well, the regulation should be the same. There's no argument with that. There is also no argument, and the Basel Committee would be the first one to um, um, uh, talk about it and to support it, is that regulation should be based on risk. The riskier the service or product that is offered, the higher, the stricter the burden on regulation. So far, the financial regulators around the world would feel very comfortable with this. The third one is one that is not that much used in the financial sector, but is used in all other industries in the world. And is the balance between ex ante and ex post regulation, critical. Ex ante is clearly what are the rules that are set to basically tell you, okay, if you follow these rules, that's the way the system is going to operate. But exposed is, okay, I may not know how this industry is going to uh, flow, how it's going to evolve, and therefore I'm going to reserve the right to actually intervene if necessary, okay? Based on those three principles, and that's why I really um, uh, encourage you to read the report because you are going to see how those three principles come to life into our regulation recommendations, 